Mr. Kudamandra, call the member for Newcastle. Thank you very much, Mr. Acting Speaker. I rise today to speak about an issue most pertinent to my electorate. I haven't um, uh, most pertinent to my electorate, and that is the buses and the bus timetable in Newcastle and the revision of those bus services following the privatisation of what was a very effective bus service. The minister has received many, many complaints. In fact, hundreds of uh, letters and representations from the. Uh, for Hunter members who are directly affected by this. Uh, however, he, he has said um, in the past that he actually hasn't received any complaints, which seems rather odd, uh, given the number we have sent. And uh, his office has, in fact, contacted our office and said, can you please stop sending these via the mail and just scan them and email them because we're getting so many. We're absolutely inundated. But uh, I thought today I'd read out a few of those uh, pieces of correspondence from individuals who are severely affected, uh, starting with a school kid. So I'm writing to inform you, Minister, of the failure of the 816 bus from Morgan Street, Merriweather, at the scheduled time at 8.25, nor the second bus at 8.30 uh, on Tuesday, uh, 5th of September. I dropped my son off at the bus stop and received a phone call at my workplace from my son to say he'd walked home as neither of the two buses had shown up. My husband left his workplace to go home, collect my son and drop him at school. When he arrived at school, the staff at the student services told him there'd be many instances of buses not showing up and students arriving very late. One of many. Two. Disabled. Disabled. I've asked my daughter to please uh, email you my complaint. I'm a 78-year-old woman who is vision impaired. I also have severe essential tremor. I reside in a granny flat that my daughter's built. My family are committed to supporting me to live independently as possible. One of the great things about where I'm living as I do is I'm able to access all services available and manoeuvre around the city. Unfortunately, this has changed drastically since the new bus timetable has taken place. I understand these changes have been made as a cost saving. I would like to know who is the cost saving for. My independence and ability to access the community has been drastically cut because of the changes that have been made to the bus, limit, buses, limited options, limited bus stops and total reduction of availability. <clears throat> I haven't been able to tell you how difficult it is now. I've had to use numerous buses I could catch and the locations of these stops were safe for me to depart. My current situation is I'm not I, if I am to get home, uh, now I have limited choices at bus, in buses. Stops are unsafe to cross roads and the distance I have to walk is too far. And that's uh, uh, disabled businesses. Or another one, medical services for someone uh, wanting to get cancer treatment at the MARTA hospital. The current old service used to get um, to the MARTA for an 8am appointment, involved catching a 7 o'clock wharf uh, ferry from the Queen's Wharf, a total travel time of 39 minutes, leaving me plenty of time to get a coffee before my appointment. To get the same appointment under the new travel service uh, takes an hour and 27 minutes. One way to get to the Mater Hospital for cancer treatment. That's a total of three hours return when it was previously uh, <coughs> 39 minutes each way. The businesses in Hamilton, you'd think it would be a core constituency of this government. Uh, we have a street, uh, Beaumont Street, Hamilton, the uh, East Street of Newcastle, which was previously serviced by buses. Uh, a very busy street in the second largest city in the state. And what has happened there? There is no longer one bus, one bus that stops on this street. There are a huge amount of uh, pharmacies, of medical uh, facilities, uh, of banks, and there are no longer any of these. In fact, it is quite incredible that this government is dismissing uh, a group of people. The Hamilton Business Chamber, in fact, met with me uh, very upset by this change. They have uh, anecdotally told me and put out in their own media between 10 and 15 per cent of trade in local banks uh, has decreased. Well, I'm calling for the Minister, asking him, inviting him, in fact, to come to Newcastle to visit um, the Disability Services, Access Services, as well as House With No Steps at uh, Warrabrook, which also have a huge number of problems. And these constituents, they're not going away. Uh, I won't go away. My 100 members won't go away. We won't stop. We've got a public meeting this coming Monday at 6 o'clock at 16 footers. 
And uh, we want to call on this government to review the timetable to make it more equitable, more efficient, and actually service the people that it's supposed to service instead of disregarding them.